Today, we're going to talk all about losing body fat and achieving your ideal body composition. What's up guys, Eric Wong here from EricWongMMA.com and I'm here with another Ask Eric Wong MMA video where we're talking about body fat today. Now, first of all, I gotta apologize, I'm a little bit stuffed up and if I have to go blow my nose, I got some crazy allergies going on, so sorry about that, bear with me. Now, this question I got from John and John says, hey coach, so first things first, after recently finishing the MMA rep training camp and entering the power phase of the Ultimate MMA SNC program, I'm down to my ideal weight of 215. This is down from 249 when I started my MMA journey, with your help of course, a year and a half ago. I'm 6'4", so the thought of one day fighting at 205 seemed unattainable to me. That was until I came across your website. You're the man. So finally, to my question. With me reaching a good weight to walk around at, how can I cut my body fat percentage without sacrificing too many pounds? I'm currently stuck at around 19%. John Fisher from Atlanta, Georgia. All right, John, well, first, uh, first of all, going from 249 to 215 is huge, so congratulations on doing that, and uh, just shows that you're a dedicated guy. Now, you're at 215 right now, you want to fight at 205, so that would be a, a pretty easy weight cut, but you're also six foot four, so you, going down to maybe 185 might be a little bit difficult for you. So what I want to do is I want to run you through some calculations just so you understand exactly what body fat percentage means and how that relates to how much weight you can lose or how much weight you can gain. Now, I'm doing this all manually right now because I'm Chinese and I'm good at math, but I'm also gonna hook you up with a tool that you can, you, you can just download and plug in all the details that you want and play around with it to see what a, a good body composition is for you. Now, I'm also gonna talk about how some factors that you can think about to continue to lose, bo lose body fat. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're gonna start off by writing down all the variables that we know about, just over on the right so we can keep track of them here. So 215 is your body weight and 19% body fat currently. And now let's do some calculations here. So 215, let's find out how much of that of his weight is body fat. So we do 215 times 0 0.19, that's 19% there. And that gives us 40.85 pounds of body fat. So let's write that over here, it's about 41 pounds fat. Now to figure out how much lean mass, you just subtract that from the total weight. So minus 41 gives us four, 174 pounds of lean body mass. There. Now, let me make some space here. Okay, now looking at this, let's say, John, we want you to stay at 215 pounds because the weight cut to 205 is going to be pretty easy. But we don't want you at 19% body fat. We want you to lose some body fat. Keep that weight, so if you lose body fat, you're gonna to have to gain some muscle. Now that we have that there, what we wanna do is we wanna get you down to 12% body fat, let's say. Let's say we also wanna keep you at 215 pounds of body weight. So, let's calculate that. 215 times 12% body fat equals 25.8 pounds of fat mass. Now, 215, same thing we did before, minus the fat mass, so let's say 26 equals 189 pounds of lean mass. So to do that, you gotta go from 41 pounds of fat to 26, and lean mass, you gotta go from 174 to 189. So you're losing 15 pounds of fat and gaining 15 pounds of muscle. Now that is not going to take, is not, that's not a quick process. That's something that's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. Now these numbers, of course, they're all rough depending on how accurate your body composition 
calculation was if you did like a bod pod or a DEXA or something like that. Those are machines that you step into and they measure your body fat. Those are really, really accurate. If you're doing the caliper method, that's less accurate, but it's still a pretty, pretty close, probably within 3% body fat either way. So 15 pounds of fat lost, 15 pounds of muscle gained, that if you're going to do maybe a pound, you're a pretty big guy, so you could do up to two pounds of change in your body composition per week. You know, that's going to take at least 15 weeks or up to 30 weeks. So anywhere from, I don't know, about six months, around four to, four to six or seven months, somewhere in that time frame. Now, what I would recommend is if you've been losing body fat consistently for a while and now you've kind of plateaued, you said you're stuck at 19%, is you kind of focus more on gaining some muscle for a little bit for the next phase. Maybe for the next two months, two and a half months, you focus on gaining muscle. So chopping away at this that you need, you need to gain 15 pounds of muscle and then you move to losing fat. And then it's going to be even easier for you to lose fat because if you gain this muscle, it's metabolically demanding, it takes energy, and it's going to help you to burn off the fat when you move into a more fat loss program. So you could jump on my XMB program, the Explosive Muscle Building program here, and then go back to the MMA Ripped program. After that, if you're getting ready to fight, then I would jump on the Ultimate MMA program to take you into your fight and get you prepped for that. All right. So that's kind of how we calculate body composition. That's a, a rough guide. I took you through it just so you kind of understand the process, but you don't need to do all that because I created a tool. It's just an Excel spreadsheet with different goals. There's four different components to it. So you can go download, download that at www.mmarip.com forward slash free dash body dash comp dash calculator. Now, instead of typing that all in, I've dropped a link just below this video here. So you can just click that, enter your details, and then you can download that tool. And it's kind of cool because you can play around with different goals, whether you want to maintain weight and gain muscle and lose fat, or you want to lose weight and lose, mus lose fat and just maintain your muscle. There's all different goals for you to consider and to play with. So you can see exactly what you want to achieve there. And it gives you a little more objective numbers to shoot for not just some broad uh, body weight category. Okay, now in terms of actually changing your body composition, continuing to change, one thing to note is that the body moves in waves. So you're not just gonna, if your goal is to lose weight, it's not gonna look like this, a straight line. You're gonna lose some weight and then you're gonna plateau and then lose some more weight. They might go up a little bit and then you keep going down. As long as you're lower here than when you're here and the progress is going in a downward trend, you're good, but it's never going to go straight down. Or if you're trying to gain muscle, it's never going to go straight up. It's always going to go up, plateau, up, down a little bit, up, plateau, like that. So that's one thing to notice. And one reason why, if you hit a little bit of a plateau, you don't want to freak out. Now, at the same time, if you're hitting a plateau and you're stuck there, there's different things that you can consider. If you've gone through my programs, John, already, then you know what's up with training. You're training properly and eating eating properly, but there's a couple other things you can consider. And the way that I like to think about it is around hormones. So there's three kind of big hormones when it comes to the whole fat loss thing. Number one is cortisol. So what you could think about there is how are you sleeping? How's your stress? Are you freaking out about financial things? All these different things, they, they add up and they contribute to your body losing fat or gaining fat or maintaining where you are. So think about those things. Another hormone is insulin. If, you're, if you came from being a little bit fatter, a little overweight and obese, then your body is coming from a point where you weren't very insulin sensitive. So you might still have a little bit of that and you've got to be a little more conscious about carb intake. So the best times to take carbs would be around your workouts, before to fuel you up, after to replenish you because your muscles are more sensitive, they're just going to suck the carbs in and you're gonna absorb that into muscle glycogen to give you energy for your next workout. So other than those times, you might want to avoid eating carbs and just see how your body responds there. And finally, the last thing is leptin. That's another hormone that's a big contributor to body fat loss or fat loss programs. So with leptin, basically, if you're on a low calorie diet where you're not taking in as much that as you're burning, 
then, which is probably what you're doing if you've lost weight over a period of time, then you want to spike that so that you're, it upregulates your metabolism there. So to spike that, you have a cheat day, cheat day, where you just eat a lot of calories in one day. And that just spikes leptin up and tells your body that it's okay to burn fat again, basically. So those are three considerations about hormones that you can kind of think about and see if they apply to you and implement into your life to see how they work and to see if they can kickstart your fat loss again. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. Any of you guys looking to lose body fat, definitely you got to get on a good program and you got to get on proper eating. And then the other factors are kind of other factors that you got to think about after you get those two things dialed in because those are, are the core of what you want to focus on. Now, if you want to get that body composition calculator where you can figure out exactly how much muscle you need to gain or fat you want to lose, visit that link below and just enter your details and I'll hook you up with that. All right. Okay. So again, my name is Eric Wong. This is Ask Eric Wong MMA. If you want to ask me a question, hit me up at ericwongmma.com forward slash ask and I'll do my best to answer you. Thanks a lot for checking it out. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.